Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Okay, evening everybody. Um, tonight I'll be using my FX Impact, hopefully getting a few rabbits. Uh, this is in 2.2 calibre, sub 12 foot pounds. Uh, it's been quite modified, I've got Huma Regulator, Huma Gauges, Blue Laminate Woodwork Kit for it, the Effective Carbon Shroud, lovely rifle, really accurate. Just thought I'd show you some of the damage that the rabbits are doing here on this site. It looks like the Somme battlefield. This is just a small section of it. With it for, uh, digging for roots. This is why I need to keep it under control because people walk across here. Be... There's also uh, some areas where there's horses and they'll just turn a leg when they go down the holes. This is why we do what we do. Rabbits are an invasive species. I know it was introduced by the Romans a long time ago, but it, it still just causes so much damage wherever it goes. We need to keep the numbers under control. Okay. Okay, so tonight I'm after the last two, I think, rabbits under this container. I've had the parents and two of the siblings, so I'm pretty sure there's just two left. First one didn't make me wait long before he came out. The second one gave me a bit of a run around for a while. I could see him under there, but uh, he was just to and fro in, plucking up the courage to come out. But I think hunger finally got the better of him. And you can see this is like an hour later than the first one. So uh, I've had the parents on a previous visit and in the last video you'll see that I had two of the four youngsters. So this is possibly, hopefully, the last youngster under here. So here he comes. Hunger's got the better of him finally. And I'm not going to shoot him there because he's not out far enough. Yeah, if he uh, if he's wounded in any way, he'll just disappear back under and uh, I'll be able to get to him. So I need him to be just clear of the container enough so that when I shoot him, his back legs will spring him out. And then I can uh, get him. So I'm just a matter of playing the waiting game now. Just got to wait. He's bound to come out eventually. Just got to wait for him very very nervous probably because he's on his own and he knows that all his brothers and sisters are gone just gotta wait and wait and wait it's always best not to shoot them when they're really close to the hole in case they drop back down you can lose them underground here he comes Bit of a stretch, you know, it's been tiring last night digging up other people's lawns. So he, need, he needed his rest. So now he's coming out, he's got himself a bit of daylight. So I'm getting ready now to take the shot. You noticed I've shortened the distance from the other night because of the wind uh, down to sort of 25 yards just to uh, allow for the effects of the wind to not push against the pellet too much. So we'll take the shot in between the eyes. And out he springs. You see that's a good shot by the back legs going. The young ones always bounce around a bit more than the older rabbits for some reason. And then he manages to kick himself back under. But you can see that he's not got far, because that's where I pulled him out from. He's just uh, in his last throws now. So hopefully that's the last two under there. And no doubt there'll be some more eventually. That's the two rabbits the next day. Um, you can see the blood on the head wound from the one lower down, which was the last one I shot. Just a little final little bit of housekeeping now for the guys on the forum. If you watch the last video, you'll understand this. I'm 
becomes a word, you know what I mean? The colour of the paint's absolutely nothing like the one that's there, but it's better than no paint at all, that's what I reckon anyway. Just between me and you, that one. Keep it on the lowdown. Till next time.